Hola friends, today we have a what's up video. We have eight items that are going out and um, 300 something in eBay I'm going to show you in here and $50 in Poshmark that we are going to ship and I'm going to explain you in this video why the sales go down after a really good weekend. So it's many changes that I did this week just for try and see what it works. Stay tuned for that and as well as any video that I do at what sold. At the end, I'm going to explain you how much profit we are making. So let me show you what I sold. item that we are going to ship is this 701 so this is the Levi's vintage style it took a little bit time to sell and I thought they will sell it for more but it have some difference in the colors because somebody was probably more smaller and just decided to do that so at the end it brings a really cool design to these pants but this is the high rise i will leave the information in here and this will go in poshmark and it sold for 50 dollars so if you are in the lookout for really good pants looking for levi jeans that sells for more you know the normal price that is probably 20 dollars including shipping this is one of the styles so you should be in the lookout and I'll be in the lookout for sure even they take a little bit more time to sell and I will leave in here how long it took to sell it's a good sell at the end so happy the this one is going finally I thought they will not sell but I'm happy they selling So some of you have been asking me what is those stickers that I add and this is the thank you stickers that I made in my Rolo printer and probably I will make a live where I will going to show you how to make them. It's really really easy to make them. It's more cheap than keeping buying some of them. For these pads I will use the 1095 box. So I could I could use the 1092, but I don't have a Bible right now, and they are in the way. I need to be better to get those supplies. Um, and probably before what I was doing is when the boxes and all the packages coming, I just order for more because I was selling a lot, a lot in, in Amazon, especially in this Q4. So it did have a lot of space that I was need to cover. But what I did is use these, they coming in the towel paper. Sometimes I use this as a support and I haven't had complaints about that. So this is a cheap, cheap way and they are not heavy to add some little support and there for you items and a lot more cheaper of course so yeah that's the first item if you are new here my name is Cynthia Amons I run a six-figure business in Amazon and I try to do the same for eBay, Poshmark and Mercari so I try to bring you with me how I'm doing and what decisions are taking in my business and I am full-time reseller so I doing full-time Amazon and part-time clothing in shoes. I do content as well, Instagram, TikTok 
any platforms for I can show you how I'm doing this business and I can help somebody to doing the same. If you are interested for that kind of videos, I always make a mix. So subscribe for you can see that kind of information. This business changed my life. So I hope all these videos or all this content, it helped you to change yours as well. If you are come back, and you have been watching my videos before. Thank you, I appreciate you, I love you. You know that you are the best. Thanks for your message. And let's back to the video. And this, I have a history with this dress. This dress sold one time already. And this is the Anklein. And the size 18W. This is selling and retail for $149, as you can see in there which is the price is really high but it's a really pretty dress that is going to somebody else and it's going for a little bit more of what i sold it for so if you are afraid of the returns don't be because those items always sell especially if you sell one time that means there is demand in there so if you got the offer, you probably will sell it again. So happy that this item is going again for more better price. So let me know, do you add free returns? That you are scared of the returns? Um, let me know in the comments. Checking the weight for this weight 13 ounces. So we are going to add in there and see which is the best, which is the best auction and the most cheapest one. And they promise the time they say will be in there. So in this case, it will go in the ground advantage. The next item that we are shipping is this Brooks Brothers um, 346 and the size 14. It's a really pretty pattern as you can see in there. I like to sell, I like to sell Brooks Brothers in the largest size and especially the 346 or the Regent is one of my favorite ones. And this sold really fast. I will leave the dates in here. And what I like is really easy to ship. As you can see in here, it don't take the long time, but blouses are one of my lowest category. So sadly, <laughs> so this weight, eight ounces. And the grant advantage, and I will pay $4.31 to send this item. Really cheap. Next item, one of my favorite, this is Lily Pulitzer. This is a pretty pattern. And this dress don't weigh that much. So let me show you. This is the Lily Pulitzer and the size large dress. So I thought they will sell a lot more faster. This have been listed since August in my closet but finally sold so less than three months i definitely will pick it up again in the large size in the dresses and this is another item that is really fast to cheap as you can see in here It takes seconds to ship these items. This and it's a lot less weight than the blouse that I showed you before. I will pay four dollars and twenty-four cents to ship this item. 
You see, my computer was more faster. This process, it will be a lot more faster. But as you can see, it don't take a long time to chip the items. The next item that we are chipping is this Kelvin clay. As you can see in there, this is Kelvin clay, and it's this beautiful blue royal royal blue um, long sleeve blouse. Is this is lining? It's a really pretty item. This part for my um, personal collection. I just didn't wear it this summer, so I decided just to let it go. And I listed in August, and it sold now in October, which is cool. I have a lot of clothes. Of course, all of them, majority of them are bought at the thrift stores, but still, it's a lot of clothes. <laughs> it's no way that you can wear everything. But it's good to have auctions, right? Women love to have auctions. Happy that this shirt going to a new house. And we are going to use it, <laughs> this beautiful pattern. Mailers that I have them, as I told you before, and they are in my links in my Amazon store. If you buy something from my links, you know I will have some uh, benefits, a little percent, like a 2% or maybe less than that of what you buying so thank you for that so this is a really pretty um, mailers a little bit more heavy than i expected but this don't weigh that much so the blouse don't weigh that much so we are going to add how much is the weight so we are paying in this one five dollars and thirty-three a lot more a lot more expensive than the even the dress next item that we are chipping is this um let me open it sometimes i don't want to open it because i don't know if you he will let me to close right again but this is the tie is sandy and the size extra small this sold for $15 plus shipping this is a merino wool cardigan and i thought it will sell for a um, better price than that but i was happy to accept that offer so the sales was a lot more lower this weekend because i decided to don't run a sale usually have a room it's usually have a sale in the entire in the entire um a store in this case i decided to don't do it for around three or four days and that was the reason i got less less sales the other one is i tried to get my average sale price more higher and I have a lot of low offers that I didn't accept, like around eight or nine that I didn't accept. And I, I was sometimes, I was saying myself if I was taking the right decision, because usually when you do that, those items stay forever in your closet. So I will let you know if you're still working, but I have this suit the people have been offering me only $50. And let me know in the comments if you will leave it, uh, like uh, if you will sell it for $50. Maybe I am wrong, but this is the Ralph Lauren Black Label suit. And I know it can sell for a lot more than what they offer. And I have a lot of offers since I posted and I listed them in ebay nothing in poshmark yet so yeah i don't know do you think that I should sell it for 50 let me know but that was one of my counter offers that i did this weekend uh, yes that's the reason i got less sales 
so I don't know I'll try to see if I can get more profit right now I'm running a 30 coupon in my store so I am just trying to see how I can get more profit of for my work and see if that work this will go in a this will go again in the 1095 it looks like it's more cheap to send it in that one let me correct the wait here yeah it looks like it's more cheap to send it in the box so sometimes that's what you need to do I was talking too much with you so <laughs> I didn't check the way before to packaging but this auction will be a lot more faster than do what I did in here so always check always always check before the weight if you doing this add more more weight and it change the price I would go into I'm going to suggest just to take it out you know for the previous package but this seems like I don't going to change anything so this will go full uh, 720 so this will go for 720 and if I do the other one it will go for 760 so I saving in there I am saving in there some cents and if you take in, co in consideration how many items you sell those cents at the end can be dollars and probably another item that you can buy if that makes sense and that item could bring you i don't know a hundred dollars profit you never know what you can find out there so the last so there we go this was 720 i'm making a profit of five dollars in that one this is a good sale about this about this um to my friendly set and this this is the pattern Omer sweater I thought it would be a item that I can wear for this Christmas but it don't fit it didn't fit nobody in my house so we are a little bit pretty for <laughs> the size so if you haven't followed Lisette Lisette is one of my friends I know Lisette size 2020 that that's when uh, you know I was starting pretty much I started in 2019, but I always say that I started in 2020 because that's where I get more into the reselling before I was doing something else. So thank you, Lisette, for bringing those amazing items to us. This will go for, okay, this is 11 ounces, really, really lightweight lightweight sweater that somebody going to enjoy we paying four dollars 81 for this one and even there is a sweater so yeah eight dollars profit which is amazing so for the next the next three items i'm going to show you what i do so these three items is going for the same person so if i give you the option if you're somebody buying the three items to do a combined you just had to tell them that you want to do that so in this case we got three items to go into this person and i'm going to show you now this came in a uh, box by the at the same time the my friendly sets send me the sweater this is joseph sable really good item i uh, always happy to find it it's really good condition it's almost like new condition as you can see in there and it's a really good brand 
Then we got these Talbots in the size 1X. Uh, is another blouse that is going out. So Talbots in the size is large. That's only what I'm picking up now because I got more um, merino wool items. They are less. They are less than plus sizes, and it's taking a size last year to sell so yeah if you use no larger sizes and good patterns this have a really good pattern i uh, will not pick it up and the other one is this beautiful london fog jacket in the size two extra large really pretty jacket they have polyester nylon and wool so really happy that these three items are going sometimes what i do is if you they pay more and the chipping i just refund the chipping you know for more the feel they pay a lot a lot so probably that's what i'm going to do with this one but yeah really happy when the i sell items like these bundles in ebay you can sell bundles in ebay as well sometimes people will ask you will um you know ask you if you combinate uh chipping and the answer is always yes because ebay let you to do it so if you go into the same address find the bugs and how much it will be the way and I'll let you know soon how much I pay for this to cheap these items. So for this bundle we had to look at a box as you can see in here it barely um, fit because the coat so this is six pounds around six pounds that is going in this box so we are going to take the measure to the box so we can add to um, so we can add in there for the chipping so in this case it's 15 by 10 by 12 16 by 12 by 10 and 6 pounds okay so we will see how much this bundle will cost us so uh, it will be six uh, four so we will add 16 just in case we will add 11 and we will add 14 and this will cost us $12.11 in the ground advantage and let me see if UPS have better rate UPS have $12.04 so a lot more cheaper so we are going to decide to send this in the UPS ground yeah we are going to decide to send this in the UPS ground in this case so yeah let me package better the shoes so i can tape it and let you know how much profit we make you know i always do it's more than 50 it's more than a hundred dollars i add a gift in this case this person pay a hundred plus so it paid $34 for the shipping. So what we're going to do is refund the buyer. We're going to do it after the person accept, accept the, um, all the items. So I'm going to reach out and we'll tell her the we are going to refund shipping. Because if you know that shipping, that um, the rest of the chipping it will help us to pay the return back chipping and you want to have all the bases covered so i will do it after the person received the item uh, this tape it comes with the subscription um, we have 
a coupon for have branding in the eBay. I like to use the tape in this case. And I think that's the only thing that you always get it. And in this case, I will go into a this. It will help me to go all the way to up. I can cut the box and make it a more cheaper, but this going to another city in my state. So I don't see the benefit to do that. So I'm going to add this, a little paper to cover. This shipping has been taking me a little bit more longer because this, so going to check how much this weight. I like this scale because even the I can see, even that I can see the weight, I can hold it in here. This do all the way to 65 pounds. For this weekend, we got a total of 10 items that we are shipping. In this case, the total sell price is 382 and the total profits are 167 so we are going to add those things to here and that make our average price of 36 as you can see here let me see 36 22 which is amazing okay friends so at the end we are we sold 73 items with the average price of $36 and this is a 39, almost 39 ROI. So what I love from this, we are almost at the same profit that we did last month and just with 73 items and we still have more weight to go in the month and it's Q4 so you always going to see these ups and those three to four months including January. If you're still here, thank you, appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Blessings! Bye!